So starting year 2016, I've now made a million dollars betting on sports in the Asian markets. I've had like the best month in October. I topped it in November. I topped it in December. And I felt like, well, you know what? There's nothing that can knock me down. This, I know I've, I've solved this now. Everything is great. The amount of bets I'm having, like over 3,000 bets a, a month and everything is just like amazing. I turned 10K into a bit over a million dollars. Uh, my name is Jonas Jelstad, and I'm a sports better, previous poker player, and basically trying to figure out what I want in life. So in January, I bet for $4.4 million, and I made $357K. But uh, I want to show you some, something that happened on the last day of January that sort of like set me a bit back. This is my month, like this is the full month of January. So bet for $4.5 million, profited 326,000 with 7.75%, .75%, which is, I'm really happy about. But the night before the last day, I was up $581,000 and I almost run at 16% ROI. And then the last day, I lose $256,000 in one day. So coming off that uh, last day of, Jan of January, I start February, which is also a like, pretty big month. I bet for over $4 million and I lose $347,000, which is almost 10% on average per bet, per bet. But as you can see also the numbers of bet I had in, is only 1,200 compared to other months where I've been rolling at like 3.5K, over 2K, 2.5K. So again, it's gonna be higher variance and higher amount higher bets. This is something where I think I did a mistake. I think I should have maybe be, been a bit more cautious. And you can see that next month I decided like, well, you know what, like I actually need to step down. So I realized that next month. So I placed 776 bets and I bet $1.5 million. And I had another losing month. I lost 110K, which is almost 8% per bet. Obviously during this period, I know like I'm I was extremely unfortunate. But at the same time also, you see like I've showed you earlier, I had months where I was running about, about like 10% and it sort of, it evens out in the long run, which is the most important thing to think about. And this is what separates like the good from the bad people. Everyone is good and everyone is happy and everyone thinks they're flawless when things is going good. But when you go bad, that's when you can actually learn from your mistakes. And that's when you need to put in the hard work. Going on from there, you can see I lost 110K, then started off April winning some, and I upped my bet bets from 1.5 million to 3.3 million, and I made over 2K, or 2K bets, and I made 90K with like a 3% ROI, which again then it's like sort of feeling like now I'm back at it, this is good. And then in May, last, uh, last games of the season, betting 4 million, making 327K with almost 9%. Felt just great going into the summer like that. And then Euros were gonna start and I was feeling good about it. Because I can't just sit there and think like, oh, I lost $250,000 in a day. What if that's gonna continue happening? Because I know like it can go the other way around. So it obviously made me a bit more aware that I need to think about the amount I'm betting per game. And if I wanna have these swings, because now I'm starting to get to a point where I'm quite comfortable with my living and you know it's much more important to have one million than to have one and a half or 500k so you rather want to lower the swings and have like let's say 75 percent chance of reaching one one million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and a 25 percent chance of going down to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars because it's actually significant money that you can invest and sort of get a long-term passive income on. If you invest in real estate or, you know, like they're safer investment on sports betting. Mm -hmm. Sports betting, I think is by far my highest return of investment. And I can flip my money over so many times and still have like over 3% return on my money for every 90 minute investment, which is like beyond crazy. Like when I tell it to people that's involved in other type of like, let's say stocks or anything like that, 
they don't believe believe it. It's like it's too good to be true. But it's all about then being on the right side and knowing what you're doing. Because if you don't, then you're losing. <laughs>